Rajdeep uh, joining us right outside the Congress headquarters. Rajdeep, the commotion we see as Shashi Tharoor files his nomination, uh, it seems like a clamor growing for Kharge and Tharoor. Equal support on both ends when it comes to supporters outside, but who's the favorite candidate when we speak of the Gandhis? Because at the end of it, we know it's got to be a Gandhi family chosen man. Uh, whether they call it free and fair election, we still have a fair idea that this, the person who will be at the helm of affairs will have to be a Gandhi, a complete Gandhi loyalist. So who among the two is closer to the high command? Well, I would think that Malikarjun Kharge is the more likely choice because Malikarjun Kharge is seen as someone who has been traditionally completely identified in a way, particularly in the last few years with the Gandhi family. He was leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha, leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha. He's just the kind of leader that, in a way, the Congress High Command would want. Someone who provides, I guess, will do exactly what the High Command wants. Will not be a, a Gelot or a Digvijay Singh who might assert himself politically, as we saw with Mr. Gelot uh, just a few days ago. So I think, in that sense, he fits in the stereotype. Mr. Mr. Uh, Tharoor is a bit of an individualist or is seen as that. He's been associated with the G23, signed that letter in August last, uh, in 2020, which was seen to be a letter challenging in a way the way the party was being run. Even in the interview that we gave, he said, Ms. Selja, Ms. Selja, ma'am. Ma'am, so we have Kumar, just half a second, half a second. So we have Kumari Shelja with us. Uh, as I said, she's going to be signing the nomination for Mr. Kharge. Let's ask her that question. Is Mr. Kharge the unofficial official candidate of the Congress leadership? Mr. Kharge is the senior most leader in the party. He was a leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha. And I think all of us should now rally around and unanimously elect him the next president. But an 80-year-old, is this the time to have an 80-year-old? The Congress surely needed someone younger. Your name was doing the round. No, no, thank you very much. The media was doing a lot, was being very kind. But the point is that his experience will surely help the party. You know, there, are, there is time when experience is also required. And the way he is conducting, he has whole lifetime of commitment to the party and I think uh, we will benefit. Ma'am, but till, till a few days ago it was Ashok Gelod, then Digvijay Singh, now Malikarjun Kharge, what is going on? Ye ho kya rahe Congress mein? No, Digvijay ji himself has said he, he did take the form, he was saying he was going to, and now I think he himself has withdrawn and it would be in the fitness of things if uh, Kharge ji is elected unanimously. The fact that he's a Dalit, does that make, a, is that the reason why he's been chosen? Is it because he will tow the high command line why, that he's been why do, why do you want to only label us as Dalits and because we are Dalits, we don't, we don't deserve to be and we no, are chosen only that. because we are Dalits? I didn't say I that. I think that is that not was a right. Or not? This was, this is not right. I think his, his, his experience speaks for him. One but final question, what about Shashi Taru? Many say he's the kind of younger person your party needs. Sir? That is for you, you to decide, Rajdeep, that a party needs a younger person or older person. I don't think age has got anything to do with it. The point is that now I would request Mr. Shashi Tharoor to withdraw. You want Mr. Shashi Tharoor to withdraw? I would request him. Then what happens to an I election? I would request. Itna election ki baat election, election also means unanimous decision. It's part of an election. Okay, I'll leave it there. Thank Kumari you. Shelja, former union minister, joining us. Uh, as you can see, she wants Shashi Tharoor to withdraw. Nabila, this is the Congress party. You know, <laughs> everything, every day is a new day in this party. Something always changes. Now she wants Shashi Tharoor to withdraw. But it seems Tharoor has made up his mind that he wants to contest and at least give the impression uh, of a contest. And in fact, Tharoor really, was one of the, the first kind of who threw his the ring. Tharoor has been asking or saying that he wants well, to contest, one of the first people to do so. But a quick word, Rajdeep, will Malikarjan Kharge now give up his uh, position as leader of opposition in the Rajya Sabha? Now, going by this rule of one person, one post? I would think so. I think you would uh, probably have a new leader of the Congress in the Rajya Sabha. But, you know, when you listen, when you see the kind of people who are coming to file a form for uh, 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 Malikarjun Kharge, it's clear the party leadership has decided to unite behind Mr. Kharge. And they want to build a consensus around him. And it shows in a way that the paucity of options, the fact that, as I said, many people were unwilling to take up this post, and the elephant in the room, Rahul Gandhi. 
You see, what role will Rahul Gandhi play irrespective of who becomes the party president? He's on a Bharat Jodo Yatra. He's the face of the party being projected by the party. What will be his role? How will he fit in with the rest of the party uh, uh, leaders, who, whether they are party presidents, leader of the Rajya Sabha? You know, that, unless that elephant in the room is addressed, these debates will continue. You know, but when you say that uh, Malikarjun Kharge is seen as a Gandhi loyalist, how is he otherwise a cut above uh, Shashi Tharoor? I mean, apart from the age and maybe a, a few more years of experience, he's also, uh, Kharge is also seen as an organizational man, but both hail from the south, both of their Hindi is not the strongest. So if they're really looking to appeal to the Hindi belt, then that's uh, a goner in this case. That's right, Nabila, it's your part of the world. You know, Karnataka goes to the polls, what, seven months from now?